so hello everyone today we are going to discuss about the power mosfets this is dr rishabh deshukla i am going to present a topic which is related to power mosfets as you know power mosfets are known as metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistors actually this mosfet combines the two technology field effect concept and mos technology it is a, an integrated device which is fabricated by using the vlsi technique and plailan technology it is having the large input impedance because we have a coating of siu2 layer on the top of this device these devices are very sensitive to the static electrical noise and disturbances basically this mosfet is a voltage control device because here gate to source voltage controls the drain current these mosfet is of different types uh, uh, more prominently say it is it is having the enhancement type and depletion type under the depletion enhancement type we are having the two types of mosfets n channel enhancement type mosfet and p channel enhancement type mosfet under among these two n channel mosfet are most widely used and most common because it is cheapest to manufacture and it is because of electrons are participating the drain current so this device is having the higher mobility as compared to the p channel enhancement type devices other category of this type is depletion type and under this depletion type we are having again two types n channel depletion type n channel depletion type and p channel depletion type mosfets this is the circuit symbol representation of these types of mosfet we are having the n channel depletion type mosfet we are having the p channel depletion type mosfet we are having n channel depletion type mosfet and we are having the p type depletion type mosfet switching on how these devices is to be switched on we are having the four types of mosfet and vgs is the criteria which you switch it on when vgs is lower than the zero volt then n channel mosfet is off and n channel displacement type mosfet is also off while other hand when vgs voltage is less than zero our p channel enhancement type and p channel displacement type is on when vgs is zero then n channel enhancement type or mosfet off n channel displacement type on p channel enhancement type off and p channel displacement type on so we can see here when vgs is zero enhancement type mosfets are off on other hand when vgs is zero our displacement type depletion type mosfets are on there is another category of when vgs is greater than zero then enhancement type n channel and depletion type n channel mosfet is on while other hand when vgs is greater than zero our p channel enhancement type and p channel depletion type off so that means when we are having the n channel then our vgs should be greater than zero to turn it on and when we are we are having the p channel type of devices then we should have vgs less than zero to switch on the device 
MOSFET properties and application. We are having, we are categorized here some basic properties and their applications. These MOSFETs are available up to 600 volt, but we have, we are, we are having the limited current capacity in these kind of devices. Parallel operation is possible and quite easier in order to get the higher current capabilities. Internal resistance, it is also called a dynamic resistance between the drain to source during the on state, it is represented by RDS on. This is the factor which limits the power handling capability of this power MOSFET or simply say MOSFET. High losses especially for the high voltage devices due to the this RDS on. These devices are very dominant in the range of high frequency greater than 100 kilohertz. These devices mostly used in switch mode power supplies, induction heaters and household inverters. We are now going to compare the BJT and the power MOSFET. As you know BJT is bipolar devices on other side MOSFET is unipolar. BJT is having the low input impedance which is of order few kilo ohms. On other side power MOSFET is having the high input impedance which is of order mega ohms. 10 to power 9 ohms around. BJT is higher switching losses but lower conduction losses. MOSFETs lower switching losses but higher conduction losses. BJT as you know current control device, the controlling of this BJT is given by the base current. And the MOSFETs are controlled by the voltage. It is a voltage control device. Here the control parameter is VGS, gate to source voltage. VGT available with the rating up to 1200 volts and 800 amperes. While other hand MOSFETs are available with rating up to 600 volt and 140 amperes. BJT is having the negative temperature coefficient that make us difficult to operate in parallel. Here the parallel operation is quite difficult and we need a equalization resistance in order to achieve the parallel operation of these BJTs. While other hand MOSFET is having the positive temperature coefficient. Po positive temperature coefficient means when the temperature rises these devices when exposed to the having the increase in temperature you can see the increase in resistance also that means this MOSFET when the this temperature is going to be rise resistance is also going to be increased and this increased resistance force forces the current to other device so the parallel operation is quite easier with this MOSFET. BJT is having the secondary breakdown, secondary breakdown issues because, because of this negative temperature coefficient. While other hand the power MOSFET is free from the secondary breakdown. It does not occur in these kind of devices because of this positive temperature coefficient. Now you can see here the basic cell structure of a MOSFET. Here you can see P type substrate. It is a N channel MOSFET basic cell. P layer makes you the substrate here. One N plus is making your drain. This is your metallic contact gate. SiO2 layer which is insulating the gate from this P type substrate SiO2 layer 
and another n plus layer which is diffused in this p substrate is making your source now we are moving towards the operation you can see here we are applying a positive voltage to the drain with respect to source and positive gate voltage with, with respect to source what you can see here when we are applying the positive voltage in the gate terminal it creates a channel in between two n plus diffuse layer this channel allows current to flow this device so that means vgs voltage is responsible to create or induce the channel between the source and drain here id is enhanced by the gradual increase of gate voltage if you are increasing the gate voltage our drain current is also going to be increased up to a certain limit conducting and channel in between the drain to source gives a large on state resistance this leads to a high power dissipation in the n channel so that these kind of devices is suitable for only low power applications because of this high rds on now you can see here the complete structure of power mosfet here n plus substrate makes you a drain this n plus substrate making your drain and we are having that n minus layer here which makes you a drift region source this shorts the p region and n plus regions actually we are using a n plus substrate over which n minus layer is epitaxially grown over this substrate and afterwards two maybe more than two layers of p region c is diffused furthermore diffusion of n plus layers makes complete structure of this power mosfet on the top of this mosfet this is a planar structure or diffuse it is also called a d mos diffused mos planar structure you can see here on the top of this mosfet structure you will find a layer of silicon oxide sio2 and because of this coating of this sio2 layer our gate is isolated drain to source circuit is called a power circuit or load circuit where the load is connected on other side gate to source circuit is a control circuit where vgs voltage is a controlling parameter and after eaching this sio2 layer we are creating the metallic contact of source and coating the metallic layer on the other side of substrate is making you drain terminal silent features of this construction it is a planar diffused metal oxide semiconductor structure it is called a dmos we are having the n plus substrate it is a highly resistive n layer is epitaxially grown over this substrate and thickness of this n minus layer 
or drift region determines the voltage blocking capability. On other side of this substrate, we are having the metallic layer which forms the drain terminal. P regions are diffused in the epitaxially grown N minus drift layer. Further, we are diffusing the N plus regions in these P regions. Afterwards, SI rotulator layer is added on the topmost and is to fit the metallic contacts for the source and gate. Now, how you are going to use the MOSFET as a switch? MOSFET can be realized as a switch if you are connecting like common source configuration. This is, this circuit shows a common source configuration. The source terminal is common here. Here, drain to source circuit is called a power circuit or load circuit and gate to source circuit is our control circuit. Here VDD voltage, I am using pen to explain you. Here VDB is your applied voltage or source voltage. This RD is your load resistance. Okay. And this is our control voltage, gate voltage VG. This is gate resistance. And this is your gate to source voltage. If our gate, gate to source voltage is greater than the, than the threshold voltage of this MOSFET, you can see the MOSFET is on. That means it will conduct from drain to source. Drain to source conduction is possible after we are having the VGS voltage greater than the threshold voltage of this MOSFET. And as we increasing the our voltage, you will find the gradual increase of this drain current up to a certain limit. When our drain current is going to be stabilized, afterwards the load circuit parameter or power circuit parameter is responsible for regulating this drain current. Okay. Now we are having the transfer characteristic here in this slide. The transfer characteristic is plotted between the two parameters ID versus VGS. You can see here when we are having the very low voltage of VGS you will not find any kind of drain current. So after VGS is crossing this V threshold you will start you will find some kind of drain current is start flowing and after to this V threshold as your VGS is increasing you will also find the increase in drain current. Here GM is your transconductance which is given as delta ID divided by delta VGS. That means it is a ratio of differential change in VGS to the differential change in drain current. That means how much drain current is changed towards the change in VGS. It is a transfer conductance known as transconductance. That means how this VGS is making our drain circuit is conductive. Okay. So here the variation of drain current as a function of VGS is plotted. Output characteristics. Output characteristic is plotted against a two parameter, two parameters are there, ID and VDS. That means drain current is plotted against the 
drain to source voltage vgs as a parameter okay so here what we see the variation of drain current as a function of drain to source voltage under different vgs here how this mosfet can be utilized as a switch mosfet is cut off when vgs or vg is equal to 0 it is in the b position i am using pen to explain you here here when our switch is at this point ideally then that means vgs is 0 then no grain gate current that means our switch is open that means it will not allow to flow the current at this time our vds is equal to vdd vds is equal to vdd this is vdd that means this mod so it doesn't allow to flow the current from drain to source but the source voltage is across it which is nothing but the vdd but practically our mosfet is having some kind of leakage current very minute which can be neglected okay so that means under the cut off reason our mosfet is off id is zero because vgs is zero when we are having the vgs The, then it will allow to flow the current how this id to be controlled when the mosfet is on it is controlled by ids and the drain to source resistance or load resistance ideally when the mosfet is connecting our vds is should be zero it would ideal case then id should be vdd upon rds this current will flow but practically our switch is working here that means when the mosfet is connecting there should be some kind of voltage across it and this red line is set of or locus of operating points it is called a dc line also the set of operating points of this mosfet now moving further cut off reason under this condition our mosfet is off that means it is behaving like a open switch here we are having a zero value of input voltage gate voltage that means vg is zero here which corresponds to gate to source voltage is less than the threshold voltage that means vgs is less than the vth also we are having the zero value of drain current because vgs is less than vth or nearly equal to zero and the output voltage vds is equal to vdd here the conductive channel between the drain to source is not induced and the device is switched off or we can say that it is operating as a open switch saturation reason under the saturation reason we are going to apply a appropriate input voltage or gate voltage in the gate circuit this makes your gate to source voltage greater than the threshold voltage of this mosfet that means here vgs is now greater than the vth because of that the drain current is starts flowing that means under this condition drain current is greater than zero which is equal to the vdd upon the rl plus rds on because rds on is limited to point 2 ohms so we can neglect them because of high value of load resistance 
and the output voltage R VDS is nearly equal to zero for ideal cases. For practical cases, VDS is equal to 0.2 volts. Under this condition, the conductive channel is induced between the data source and the device is switched on. And we can also say that it is behaving like a closed switch. Linear or ohmic or triode reason. When we are having the saturation reason, in that point of time, VDS is greater than VGS minus VTH. When we are working as a switch, VDS is greater than VGS minus VTH. When this VDS is less than VGS minus VTH, then here comes to be a linear or triode or ohmic reason. In other words, we can say the grade to drain voltage VGD will be responsible for this MOSFET whether it is working in a linear reason or saturation reason. So basically we are using uh, as a switch we are using the cutoff reason and the saturation reason. We are not using the just the linear. In both the linear and saturation reasons this MOSFET is on state. In case of linear reason the channel is continuous and the gate current is proportional to their resistance of this channel. So for any clarification you can mail me. Thank you.